Okay, so this is a little long for an SAT type question, but logic questions are sometimes longer because they're describing sort of a weird scenario. So here we have Abby is younger than Kelsey, and then it's going to keep going. Kelsey's older than Lily. Okay, as soon as I've got multiple people in here, I'm probably going to want to put in some variables for them. So I'm going to call it this A and K, and I know that A is less than K. She's younger than her. Kelsey's older than Lily, so if I want to keep this sort of linearly formatted, because it looks like I've got a lot more people coming, I'm not going to put K greater than L, but I'm going to rework it so that I've got another less than. So L is less than K. Lily's also younger than Jackie, so L less than J. Claire is older than Abby, so I'm going to have to reformat that one again so that I get Abby is younger than Claire if Claire's older than her. I also have Mary is younger than Claire, so M less than C. And Lauren is older than Mary, so that means that M is also less than L. And here I have Lauren, not Lily, so I'm just going to put LA so I can tell the two apart. My question is who cannot be the oldest? So I don't have all of these directly compared, so I'm going to have to figure out who is actually younger than someone else and who doesn't show up on here at all. So Lauren, I have that she's older than Mary, and I don't know anything about Lauren's age relationship in comparison to Claire or Jackie or Kelsey or even Abby or Lily. I just know that she's older than Mary, so it's possible that she could be the oldest. Now, Claire, I also see both times over here in that she's, her age is greater than someone else's, and I don't have her compared to everyone either but it's not that she couldn't be older than Lauren. I just don't know that information. So she could possibly still be in the running. If I look at Mary though, I have her right here and she's younger than Claire and younger than Lauren. So it looks like Mary is gonna be my answer. And if I look at Kelsey, just to check, she's older than a few people, but I don't know if she's younger than anyone either. So it's definitely gonna be C. Now, this sort of problem, again, doesn't really look like one of our standard arithmetic or fraction problems, but here it's really about setting things up, figuring out sort of what our different relationships are, looking for patterns. So once I saw that I had a lot of numbers, trying to format them in a way that would later make sense, and then just sort of getting a grasp on the situation so that I can answer the questions. And again, these can come up in all sorts of different forms, so unfortunately they're not quite as standardized as our percent problems where you might see one that looks exactly like the one we did together, but they're still sort of a good idea to feel out. And you can always look online for other ones. There are a few in your blue book also. So um, play around with them and that is it for this lesson. So thanks again for watching educator.com.